Hi, this is my first tutorial about MicroPython. In this quick video, you'll learn how to get started with MicroPython on ESP8266 development board by installing it and writing a simple Hello World application. MicroPython is a small and efficient implementation of the Python 3 programming language that includes a small subset of the Python standard library. It is optimized to run on constrained devices such as microcontrollers. MicroPython runs on Pi board, STM32 boards, Texas Instruments CC3200 boards, and my personally favorite, Espressif ESP8266 and ESP32. MicroPython is very convenient for quick prototyping. It is also a very convenient way for people with knowledge about Python 3 to get started with embedded development. The required hardware for this video includes a personal computer, ESP8266 development board, and USB to UR debug cable if such chip is not included in the development board. On the personal computer, you can have pretty much any operating system, including Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, or GNU Linux distributions. As an open source enthusiast, I'm using Linux Ubuntu. Furthermore, there are two additional important requirements. You need to install Python and ESP2 on your personal computer. If you're not familiar with ESP2, please have a look at the description. You'll find the link to a previous video in which I describe how to get started with ESP2 and how to install it. The process is the same for any ESP8266 development board. For this particular video, I'll rely on Anavi Thermometer, which is an ESP8266 development board with built-in DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor. This is an open source hardware device that I have designed with the popular free and open source software KiCad. Step number one is to download MicroPython for ESP8266. Open a web browser and visit micropython.org. From the downloads page, navigate to the latest version of the firmware for a generic ESP8266 module and download it. Step number two is to connect the ESP8266 development board to your personal computer. In my case, Anavi Thermometer doesn't have a built-in USB to UR chip, therefore I'll be using an external cable. Anavi Thermometer has dedicated UR pins for serial communication. Connect Rx of the development board to Tx of the cable, Tx of the development board to Rx of the cable and ground to ground. Step number 3 is to install the MicroPython firmware. Open a terminal on your personal computer. Turn on ESP8266 development board in flash mode. For example, on Anavi thermometer, you have to press and hold the reset button and in the same time to plug the USB cable to turn on the board. First, using ESP2, wipe out the existing data on the ESP8266 development board. After that, again with ESP2, flash the downloaded firmware. Before each of these ESP2 operations, you have to put the board in flash mode. If you are using some of my development boards such as Anavi Thermometer, keep in mind that you have to press and hold the reset button while you're executing these operations with ESP2. After successful installation of the MicroPython firmware, it's time for the last step in this video, the serial prompt. For this step, you need an application for serial communication. There is a huge variety of this type of applications. Use the one that you feel most comfortable with. For example, for this video, I'm going to install and use PicoCom. Establish a connection to the device on the USB port to which you have connected it and with appropriate bolt rate, as in the example. If everything is OK, you see the serial prompt from MicroPython, as in the video. And of course, to give it a try, we're gonna create the most simple application, Hello World. As you have seen, getting started with MicroPython on ESP8266 is straightforward and super easy. Here is another simple demonstration how to calculate square root in the MicroPython serial prompt.
Alternatively, instead of using an application for serial communication, MicroPython for ESP8266 provides you an option to do the same in a web browser with the feature called WebRepo. I'm gonna cover it in another video. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for new videos.